Hi, this is Ed from Enbo Software, and in this tutorial I'd like to teach you all about mapping symbols. Now you've already seen how you can place a mapping symbol on the map. You simply select the symbol you want to work with, and then click on the map. But let me take a moment to describe how the mapping symbols are organized. You can see here in the palette that uh, mapping symbols are broken down by sets and categories. There's a couple sets of mapping symbols, and within each set, uh, each set contains a number of different categories. Uh, for example, in the Standard Fantasy set, you can see different categories of symbols. And the same with the Battle Map set. There's different categories of mapping symbols. Well, for the moment, let's go back to some trees. Now, you can place uh, mapping symbols by simply clicking, as you've seen. Or, if you want, you can actually drag out a rectangle and release, and the mapping symbol will be placed at, at about that scale. Um, mapping symbols are individual objects, just like everything else on the map, so you can select them, you can move them around, uh, you can scale them, you can even rotate them. Also, uh, when you draw a mapping, uh, scale a mapping symbol, either by drawing it out or scaling it afterwards, you can, the next time you use that same mapping symbol, it's displayed at the same scale. This way you maintain some consistency. There's a couple other options as well when you're placing uh, mapping symbols on the map. Uh, let's, let's take a look at some, some buildings, for example. We'll use one of these. How about this building right here? You can place buildings on the map like this, but that's kind of regimented. There's a couple options you can use. One is to randomly rotate. So every time you place the symbol on the map, it's rotated to a different angle. Another option is to randomly scale. And when you do that, mapping symbols are scaled up and down about 20%. 20 so you don't get the exact same size each time. Now, what if you want to put a whole bunch of mapping symbols on the map? Well, we have the Symbol Fill tool for that. Let's go back to our trees. This is the Symbol Fill tool. You select that. And select the symbol you want to use, and what you do is you draw out an area, much like you do with the freehand drawing tool, and release. And you can see a nice dense forest is created. You can adjust the spacing, for example, if you want to make everything a little farther apart, and release, and you can see that the symbols are placed farther apart. And you can also just switch to a different different mapping symbol and get a different forest. Now when you're browsing through the mapping symbols uh, you may notice these buttons right here and those control how the mapping symbols are displayed. So you can select that for our smaller thumbnails, the second one for the default set of thumbnails and if you want to see them larger you can select that. Now you might see these favorites right here, this favorite button. Now when you find mapping symbols you want to use over and over again, you can simply select the mapping symbol and hit favorite. Now when you go to the favorites symbol set, there's your mapping symbol and you have quick access to it. Another is the on map. The on map set shows you the symbols that are on the map. See, right now we don't have any symbols on our map and nothing's showing up. But if we go back to our trees and throw a couple on there, when we go to the on map, you can see that the two, sim the two types of symbols that are on the map are displayed. And you can quickly switch between them. Now another type of uh, symbol set that you can set up is called a random set. So let's go back to our trees again.
When you select one, you notice every time I click, you're getting one type of symbol. And if I switch, you get the other type. Well, what you can do is you can add and create random sets of symbols. So let's select a symbol. We're going to press random. Now you can see it's asking us for a name of a random set. We're going to call this mixed trees. And then you just press OK. Now if you go over to the random sets, you now see mixed trees. Now let's go back to the back to the trees again. We'll add a different one. Let's add that pine tree in. Say random mixed trees. Now we'll go to our random sets. There's a mixed tree set with two different trees. Now whenever I select a symbol from this set, when I click the mouse, I get randomly placed symbols uh, chosen between the two types. Now you can also use that in conjunction with the symbol fill. So for example, if we select the symbol fill, and we'll change the spacing just a little bit, and we select the random, we set the ra a random set, when we draw out an area, you get a nice dense forest of different types of trees. And you can fill out a map very quickly like this. And you can use the symbol fill for a whole bunch of different things. You use them for forests, for mountains, um, in cities. Um, use your imagination.